Okay, this is very similar to the last section. Um, it is more difficult though because there can sometimes be extraneous solutions. Um, and you have to always check for extraneous solutions when the directions say to do so. So you're going to have to check all your answers. <clears throat> An extraneous solution will be a solution that you get, but that doesn't actually work. So the extraneous solution you'll get correctly, but it doesn't actually work. I kind of think of it as a fake out solution, that it, you, you solved it correctly, um, but it's one that doesn't work for that equation. So you solve it the same way. I got to get that radical by itself, so I'm going to add 5 to both sides. I have the square root of x plus 7 is equal to x plus 5. Now this radical is by itself. To get rid of the radical, I'm going to square. And when I square both sides, the left side just becomes x plus 7. But the right side, you're going to have to FOIL or distribute twice. Okay, because it's a binomial squared, you have to write it out twice and multiply. So that becomes x squared plus 5x plus 5x plus 25, which becomes x squared plus 10x plus 25. Now because it's a quadratic, you got to solve it like a quadratic. Get everything on one side. and have it equal 0. So I have x squared plus 9x plus 18. And what you can do now is factor it. I'm going to use the t-chart. If you use the AC method, that's fine. I get 6 times 3 is 18. 6x plus 3x becomes 9x. So I get x plus 3 times x plus 6 is equal to 0. And to solve, set each of them equal to 0. So I get x is equal to negative 3 and negative 6. I'm going to check, though, that both of them work. Okay, and to check, you plug it back in. Negative 3 plus 7 minus 5 is equal to negative 3. Negative 3 plus 7 becomes 4. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. That works. When I check negative 6, I get the square root of negative 6 plus 7. Then minus 5 is equal to negative 6. Negative 6 plus 7 is positive 1. The square root of positive 1 becomes 1. 1 minus 5 is equal to negative 6. That's not true. So that one is an extraneous solution. That's not the one I want, though. I want the one that is the solution. So my answer is x equals negative 3. Okay, on this one I have two radicals, but I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get this radical by itself first. So I'm going to add the square root of x. 2x plus 1 is equal to the square root of x plus 1. Under, understand the plus 1 is not inside that radical. So now to get rid of this radical on this side, I'm going to square both sides. Okay, and what happens? This becomes just 2x plus 1. Because this is a binomial, I need to write it out twice and FOIL or multiply twice. And it becomes square root of x squared plus square root of x plus square root of x plus 1. This just becomes x, this is the same thing so far, plus 2 square root of x plus 1. I'm going to subtract x from both sides, subtract 1 from both sides. 
because now what I have, I still have a radical, and I have to get that radical by itself in order to get rid of that one. Um, that's where this one is a little bit different. So I'm moving everything that's not in the radical from this side over to the other side. Okay, so what I'm left with is x, these cancel out, is equal to 2 square root of x. A lot of times you would divide by the 2 before getting rid of the radical. Um, in this case, what I'm going to tell you is only divide by that 2 if everything on this side of the equation can be divided by it. You don't want to have any fractions in this step. So even if it was, <clears throat> um, if it had common, common factors with things on both sides, you would want to reduce it and divide by the common factor. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is square both sides. When I square that right side, the left side just becomes x squared. The right side, you have to square the 2, so that becomes 4. Square the square root of x, that becomes x. And I get 4x. Subtract 4x from both sides because it's a quadratic. I want everything on one side equal to 0. Okay. And factor, I'm going to factor out an x. I'm left with x minus 4. So I have x is equal to 0 and positive 4. Checking. Plug in 0. 2 times 0 plus 1. All that's under the radical. Minus square root of 0 is equal to 1. Square root of 1 minus square root of 0 is equal to 1. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. That works. Okay, plug in the 4. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 minus square root of 4 equals 1. This becomes square root of 9 minus square root of 4 equals 1. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. This one works as well. So in this case, both of them worked. So my solution is both of them, x equals 0 and 4. OK, here's the two U-try problems that we did in class. Um, and you can try those on your own. And if you have trouble with them, you can talk to me during tutoring.